and the first card is frustration so you are feeling very very upset very anxious about something you've got a big decision that you have to make here so you want to change direction change course in life uh, maybe something's come round again from the past that you have to decide about whether you want to do it or not but it is really upsetting you and it is really frustrating you you're not really sure what to do you're worried You've got the spiritual third eye card here. So you do need to use a lot of your intuition. You need to use your previous experience. Speak to people. Pray about it. But there is some kind of collaboration with other people. You need to get some input of energy in. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, follow your gut instincts. What you think you should be doing is what you should be doing. So uh, listen to what everybody's got to say. Ask for some advice. Uh, but, you know, go through all of it and choose the best solution for you. Look at what makes you happy, what will make you happy in the next 10 years, and this is where you go. In the past, you've got the wealth card over here in solitude. So there may have been some money that has come in for you in the past recently. It could be in the form of inheritance. You could have won the lottery, but there's certainly something uh, that has le left you feeling financially stable. You have been spending a lot of time by yourself. You've got the solitude card over here, um, you know, um, maybe even feeling very emotional as well. This man is really surrounded by water and he's pretty much stuck here. So you are feeling alone, feeling a little stuck. He hasn't got the oars uh, in the water, so you aren't moving forward right now. Uh, maybe you've got your back turned to the, uh, to the future as well. You're not, you can't really see what's coming and it's um, making you feel very, very emotional. That's what you've been going through. And now you've got this decision that you have to make and this is something that is upsetting you. Whatever um, is coming, it's good news. So if you're waiting for something to come in as far as news goes uh, so that you can make your decision, there's a celebration coming over there. Uh, there might, it looks like it's a two-edged sword here because you've got good news and everybody laughing and then you've got bad news there. So there might be a, a dual aspect to this uh, news that comes in. Maybe on the one hand, it's good, and on the other hand, not so good. Uh, there's a duality coming in with the news or the information. It certainly is information. You might have to give up something in order for you to move forward. So um, there could be a double aspect to this information, maybe something that you want, but you don't get all the way, or you, it doesn't come quite as what you want. It doesn't come packaged as you'd like it. So there's a duality coming in over there, uh, two aspects of news. Some of it is good and some of it not so good. So just be careful of that. You are still very frustrated. Try and relax. And like I said, in order for you to move forward, try and get some advice. Um, and try to meditate. This card is about being spiritual, so try to meditate. Uh, you know, you don't have to sit down um, cross-legged on the floor and meditate. Just thinking about spirit is enough to evoke spirit. Uh, so uh, do that. That is very, very important in order for you to get clarity. So those are the energies for the week. Bottom of the deck, you've got the Emperor card over here, and um, you've got the Eight of Swords. Let's see. And the Seven of Cups. Okay, so with the um, the Emperor card, um, this is the card ruled by um, Aries, as you can see. It's either about taking control or dealing with a fire sign energy. So you could be dealing with an Aries person over here. Uh, but the Emperor card also signifies, um, you know, being in a position where you are handling control, handling resources, handling people. But it also signifies um, the law. So this could be something legal that gets sorted out for you. So you could be waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in, some kind of court case. You're feeling very, very stuck at the moment. You've got um, Jupiter here with Gemini. And, uh, you know, this is about bad news, things making you upset. Uh, you know, Jupiter is a very positive planet, but Gemini brings about that negativity um, and, you know, that almost that uh, feeling very stifled. Maybe there's been a breakdown of communication between you and whatever is going on, whoever you've been dealing with. You all seem to have split up or walked away from each other over here, and you are feeling very, very stuck uh, in that particular position. This could be that you're going through a divorce as well with that Emperor card sitting next to that Eight of Swords. And maybe things haven't been moving recently. Uh, there has been the Seven of Cups. Uh, this is almost like disappointment and crying here in this particular deck. You can see there was a couple there and now this person's on the ground begging. So you may have uh, uh, gone and asked this person for reconciliation um, 
or you know uh, it seems like they've let you down quite a bit there's a lot of toxicity over here you've got the snake in the cup over here so maybe they've been making promises to you that have not been uh, they haven't fulfilled it as well and maybe this is the reason why you'll have separated or have gone through a divorce over here and this it seems like there's a judgment coming in there um you know a hearing or some kind of legal issue that's going to be sorted out there with that emperor card and it's going to mean a new beginning for you so you know like i said it looks like that relationship has now come to an end it seems to have ended up in a divorce or some kind of legal separation there and with the death card there's an ending of that situation and uh moving on so it was a sudden ending it happened very very quickly events beyond your control because it is the major arcana card um and um you know you're going to be have to move on so there's a a change um coming in for you you've got the moon card as well so you are feeling very very upset very very depressed with the sign of pisces there it's endings now pisces is ruled by pluto and pluto us uh, is the sign of sudden endings as well so together with the death card which is an ending card uh, ruled by Scorpio, and this moon card, which is also an ending card, it's left you feeling very miserable and very, very depressed as well. And maybe you can't see things very, very clearly right now uh, because of all the emotional turmoil that you're going through. So two major arcana cards over here. And this might, ha might have been something that was, uh, you know, a destiny that had to happen. Maybe this person that you were with was taking too much of advantage of you and the universe has stepped in. Now you've got the Princess of Swords over here, and this is about waiting for legal decisions. And with this Prince of Swords, uh, you wait, the news is going to be coming in. This, um, you know, uh, this person that you could have been dealing with uh, may have been, um, you know, very, very nasty as well. This is, an, you know, you, you could have had dealings with, with the law as well with this Prince of Swords. So uh, maybe everything just turned really sour. It seems like you've been waiting uh, for news to come in with that Princess of Swords. And with that Prince of Swords, there may have been, uh, you know, some uh, legal dealings with authority uh, figures in in um, in the sense of police, uh, that kind of thing going on over here. Whatever's been going on, the energy doesn't seem to be very, very stable. Um, it looks like there's a lot of nastiness going on around you as well. And it's all with, to do with this breakup that you have. So um, things are, are very unstable at the moment. You are um, assessing your finances as well. You've got sun sitting in Capricorn over here. So you're looking at your stability, your finances. You might be even uh, going through a phase where you are sorting your assets out over here and this has been a lot on your mind because you've got the sun is where your energy is focused and it's in Capricorn it's, a, it's all about your um, material um, assets so you might be going and seeing a, a lawyer or a judge or you might be going through the phase where you're sorting out assets over here and you're trying to, uh, you know, get as much out of the situation uh, financially as you possibly can. And this has been on your mind. So you're going through things, you're sorting through things there. It seems like you don't want to let go of a lot of things as well with that Four of Pentacles. Now you've got the Six of Swords over here. So this is whatever's happened, you are going to be moving on uh, mentally. You know, you are... Um, you can see there's still a lot of swords coming at this person, but you're managing to pick yourself out. You're trying to get yourself out of the situation. Uh, it's had a lot of impact on you. So there's a lot of stress and strain. Um, and it seems like with this Mercury sitting there in Aquarius, Aquarius being ruled by Uranus and with Mercury there, it's like sudden uh, messages that come in and they are very disruptive. They're very nasty. Uh, they upset you. Uh, you know, and it causes a lot of drama. And so you're trying to rise above the situation. It seems like people are still pointing swords at you. So you still could be going through that legal issue and, um, uh, you know, things are not quite going uh, your way, but you're trying to get, get yourself out of that situation and move forward. Um, maybe you're even thinking about getting a new job. You've got a caduceus over here, which is signifying business and uh, work. So maybe, you know, trying to get yourself out of this mire that you are in uh, by thinking about a new job and trying to move on. You're certainly trying to get your balance back as well with that Six of Swords. You will move away from this uh, difficult situation, but you have to be mentally um, prepared to move away and don't uh, look to the past so much because you are feeling very, very down uh, with that Moon card. 
you're feeling as though you lost everything as well. So financially, you're going through quite a difficult period. You may have had to move home. You can see this woman's taking all her things and moving on. You know, just you may have just had to pack your things and move very, very quickly as well. But there's been quite a financial loss that has gone on. And you can see everything is... Um, you know, there's ruins in the back over there. So it seems like everything has broken down. Like I said, you're going to a phase where you're trying to sort out whatever you built uh, with this four of pentacles over here. And you do feel like there's been a loss of your stability, your security, and maybe even the loss of home. Now, something new is coming in for you over there. So if you're working, waiting for some kind of legal decision, you will possibly get a payout for it. But if you're thinking about going for a new job with this Caduceus over here, with the Six of Swords, maybe moving country, changing home, moving away towards a new job. The Six of Swords usually, uh, you know, is about travel away, of uh, overseas travel, maybe away from a situation that was really chaotic or very toxic and moving away towards a situation of a financial security and just security in general, even buying a new home as well. So it seems like after the Six of Swords coming, the Ace of Pentacles, uh, something new coming in for you and you may have to physically move uh, to acquire this. Now what's in your mind, the Sun? So you want everything to become uh, clearer for you you're looking for clarity you're looking for closure uh, and you know you want to start a new job it seems it might be that you also want travel as well so you're thinking about that you're really you know you're um you're doing a lot of soul searching at the moment so there's uh the justice card the tower and the three of cups so these two cards showing that whatever this legal decision is going to be very shocking uh, to you. You might not get what you uh, set out to get as well. So maybe you wanted something and that is not going to come your way, but certainly a legal decision coming in for you there. It's going to change your life quite dramatically. The tower clears the board. I really don't like this card, but it is something that uh, needs to be done. And you will never, sometimes you may recognize why it happened immediately, but sometimes um, you know, it takes a little while before you realize that whatever happened in that situation was a necessity. Even if you don't want it uh, at that particular time when it happens and it's upsetting and it's devastating because the tower always brings devastation, in my opinion. Uh, it seems like when you look back down the road, you understand exactly why it had to happen. Uh, you know, these things uh, sometimes have to happen because if you don't change the course, uh, have a dramatic change of course, maybe things will go really wrong. In, you know, they don't work out at all for you. So the universe is watching your back. It is looking out for your spiritual plan. Uh, it is trying to help you follow that spiritual plan. And sometimes when you deviate from course, it uh course corrects and brings in the tower to shift that energies right back uh, so that you can get back on track uh, to what your spiritual plan was. And although it might be a very devastating card for a, a lot of people and bring about big changes, it might really be necessary changes that come in. It really cuts out all the, um, the nonsense out of your life and allows you to get back uh, to who you are. So whatever this legal decision is, because this is the justice card. Now, this could be a divine justice coming in for you there. But it could well be a legal case that gets sorted out uh, so that you can get your yin-yang balance back again. And the tower is bringing in a closure to all these negative energies that you've been going on, going through. So getting you unstuck from this position. You can see, you know, these people are being physically moved from this. So... If you've been stuck in a position, what the tower does, it removes you. Kicking and screaming, it will take you out of that situation and put you in something else. Totally dramatic, totally different. And that is necessary for you to move forward or for you to, um, you know, progress spiritually. You've got the three of cups here. So once this happens, uh, you know, it's going to all settle down. There are going to be people that come in for you. There's going to be some kind of, you've got this, um, Three of Cups here. So some kind of celebration. It's a card of celebration. You can see this man's holding this woman. So there's support coming in for you over there. And there's also maybe a change of home. You've got Mercury sitting in Cancer. Um, you know, Mercury is always about movement and travel. And Cancer is about a home. So you might be buying a new home and moving on. And there's support that is going to come in for you. So whatever you've been going through at the moment, things are about to change 
although it's going to be a bit dramatic when it first starts off with and it might be not what you wanted uh, it will settle down and you'll realize uh, that it was all for the best uh, so that legal decision is coming in you might like i said travel or move a uh, country to get yourself a new job or to start fresh somewhere else so i'm drawing some cards from the um wolf pack and the first card is um isolation now is not the time to deliberately isolate yourself from others. On the contrary, it is a time for you to increase your social life uh, because it will create a greater opportunity and more choices. So don't cut yourself off from people. Even though you're going through a very, very difficult period right now, you need support. You can see this man's amongst all these trees. So you need that stable support from the people around you. And it looks like a lot of people are going to come in to give you that help that you need if you're going through this particular scenario. You've got support coming in as well over here. So someone may be looking to you or you may be looking to somebody for support. And uh, you, you need to look to those people that you love and trust. So both these cards are saying don't isolate yourself. Support is coming in for you there. And you can see there. Um, and you need people at this time of your life. Respect. You might ha be having conflict with an elder. They have earned respect. Make more and of an effort and greater harmony will come. So there could be somebody around you that's older than you. It's giving you a little bit of grief about the situation. Uh, you know, if it's somebody that you love, um, you know, just... Uh, count to ten, really, uh, and you know, try not to um, pick your back battles wisely. In other words, uh, try not to let them uh, get under your skin. You know what you need to do. Um, you know they need to also have respect for you as much as you have respect for their um, whatever they've done. Uh, and you know, if you don't uh, allow them to get to you, um, then they will end up um, maybe leaving you alone and allowing you to do whatever you want to do without even um, interfering. So try to just not get yourself embroiled in any kind of battles with uh, older people or people that you love around you. Just focus on this and focus about moving on. Uh, this is the Animal Tarot. You've got the Moon card appearing again. So it is important to trust your intuition. Even you have, if you aren't sure about what is happening, it will all be revealed soon. So worry is unnecessary. So you start off with that Moon card over here. Lack of clarity, feeling depressed, upset. And again, it's coming uh, for you there. Uh, and you are hoping for clarity because you want the sun to come in because that's in your hopes and fears. Uh, so, you know, you're just going to have to hang in there a little longer. Uh, it's going to be be very, very clear. And I think the tower is going to be the thing that reveals this clarity to you. So something coming in, because you can see that um, eye of Ra there, and this is about uh, clarity in life um, and changes. And it's going to bring in a big, uh, big change. So maybe this news that comes in, whatever clarity comes in, uh, gets rid of this moon energy. And it's going to probably be very shocking, whatever you hear. You've got the eight of summer. And you feel like it's time to move on. So uh, it, it may you may be moving from a situation that is not good for you. And perhaps uh, you are being drawn to what you know will make you happy. So the Eight of Summer is the Eight of Cups. And this is walking away from this difficult situation. So you are close, you're closing the cycle of your life. You're leaving behind things, leaving behind established situations, leaving behind people that you were very emotionally attached to, and you're moving on. You're changing the direction in your life. You've got um, the final card as being uh, the release, and this is about releasing the past. It is time to release the past and move on to something new, and ending is the first step on a way to a happy future. Now, very, very interestingly, the last two cards, or, or the cards in the um, Animal Tarot, you've got the Moon and the Release card. And when you started off the spread, you had the Moon and the Death card. The Release card is the Death card. So these two cards are appearing in the beginning and the end of the, um, you can see, the Release and the Moon, and you've got the Death and the Moon, both the same cards. So in the Oracle card, so it's time for you to uh, to start a new cycle. There's a time for ending. You, Like I said, there might be a little bit of lack of clarity over there, a bit of confusion going on, a bit of depression going on over there. But that will all change. You just have to have the patience. You can see that butterfly of trans transformation going on over there. And both of them have the death card, which means that this situation is finished, done with, ended. Let it go and start moving on. Whatever that legal ending is, it's going to bring you very dramatic a news, something maybe a bit upsetting. It's going to change your course, but there's that, you know, people around you will give you that support. Uh, there will be 
uh, you know, you will get a victory in some sort of way uh, th because that card is a card of celebration uh, and you will start something brand new that will uh, give you more stability and security.